Each week in the main street of this Perthshire village, a few school children and a donkey and cart begin a process which could put Cymru on the map. These unlikely ecological pathfinders pick up bundles of waste paper which are left by householders and shopkeepers. The bundles mainly contain newspapers and paper bags. It is a community effort. Even the local milk lorry is used to help with the collection. Well, there's nothing earth-shattering about this. All over Britain, local authorities, voluntary groups and charities collect waste paper and sell it for recycling to paper mills. They've done this ever since the government encouraged us all to save paper in a war on waste campaign. What's different here is what happens to the waste paper the people of Cymru collect. In short, they get it back. A lorry makes regular trips to the village from a paper mill and picks up the bundles of litter from a store in a nearby farm. The people of Cymru get paper bags from the mill in return. These bags were made from the village's own rubbish. The waste paper is recycled over and over again. It means simply that when they get rid of their litter, it returns to them in a form they can use and it doesn't cost them a penny. Dr. Michael MacDonald, a Highland Scot with a flair for looking like one, was the man who dreamed up the idea. MacDonald, an anthropologist, persuaded the village to save its litter and he organised the voluntary collection of it and then found a paper mill willing to try the experiment. Well, now, you see, all over the country, communities are collecting waste paper. Little scout huts are bulging with it all over the place. They're collecting for some, basically, to raise money. Now, I thought that this really wasn't recycling at its, at its ideal. What I wanted to do was to get people to see their waste paper, for example, being left on their doorstep, and in some way the cycle being completed and coming back to them in a, with a benefit that they could see. Mm. Now, one stage further than this now is that we've developed uh, art paper, which we can be giving to our schools free. Here was another problem locally. Schools no longer have the money. In Tayside, we have a £41 million budget, but they can't afford to buy exercise books for our schools. They can't afford paper for them to draw on. They're using scraps of old uh, exercise books for children to do lovely flowering drawings with. We, as a community, can provide this to our schools, for example. We can keep our rates down. We have two collections a week of rubbish, for example. Now, that costs us money. It's not free. We pay for it in the rates. If we can reduce that to one by reducing the volume of, of rubbish being generated, then we're going to have to go back eventually and say, look, we have carved our cost to you as a regional council organising the, the, the uh, rubbish collection. How about halving our rate on that particular issue? The waste paper of Cymru is brought here to be recycled to the Fetty Kill Mill at Leslie in Fife. This company produces 17 million paper bags a day to big chain stores like Tesco's, Sainsbury's, Woolworth's and the Co-op. The company, however, was seeking ways to expand and that's why it wasn't too big to listen to a new idea from a tiny village community. Now it's in business for Cymru as well. In a corner of the factory, a machine produces 100,000 paper bags for the village and each one is stamped with its own war on waste emblem. For the first time ever, this factory is now producing bags for a community which are made from its own litter. And here they hope the idea will catch on. It works all very well in Cymru, but uh, could it work for a bigger place? It could work for a much larger city or a town, providing the educational authorities and the local authorities, and in particular government, uh, told the population how much they could save and what could be saved by recycling materials and recycling products. Is yeah. there uh, any indication that it's, um, it's going to yes, expand? Yes, we have had many indications from um, places like Bradford and Derby that, that we have got people who are interested in this recycling project that we are doing. So today, Cymru, tomorrow the world? Yeah? We hope, and especially Britain, which would save a lot of money on the balance of payments. For the people of Cymru, and today for the school children in particular, there's another bonus from the experiment. They make a small profit from supplying the mill with litter, and that pays for outings away from the village. Right now, they're off on a trip to Dundee, but because they're Cymru children, they'll be visiting a part of the city which tourists tend to miss.
Cymru children do their sightseeing at the corporation rubbish tip. They see what happens to waste outside their village. They learn that 80% of all human refuge is wasted. Then they'll remember what happens to some of their refuse. And of course, these children will also remember that their little village of Cymru actually paved the way.